Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brandy Gibbs. I'm back with another video. Today I decided to do another foundation video showing you uh, a foundation that I picked up at Walmart and this is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. Now Walmart was about to close up so I grabbed this really quick and this is in the shade caramel so hopefully it matches me. I already did my eyes as you can see just something really really quick using um some of the bad habit eyeshadow palettes that i really really love and i also put some of the glitter but let me show y'all again i'm gonna use some of this uh from hard candy it's supposed to deep up under the eyes i don't know how well this is working out for me i've been using it for about a week and i don't know we'll see Okay, I need a primer. I'm going to go in with this. This is one heck of a blot, and this is a primer from Soap and Glory. And every time I go out and try to find a new primer, I always run back to this one. But my first love is from Becca. I just haven't picked it up yet. I think it's like $36. I like the way this feels because it's, it doesn't have that silicone feel to it, which is cool. So I'm going to twist and it comes out like so, which is kind of weird, but I guess I just apply it to my face with this sponge. I use this okay using this here sponge is giving me a streaky look I don't like that streaky look so I'm going to use this blender I'm, I will be wearing this foundation just to show you guys how it wears on a girl like me who has oily combination skin and um, so far I like how the foundation looked when it first um, when I first applied the foundation I'm looking over here in the mirror it just it matches me 
it isn't a hundred percent I'll say it's like a 95% match it looks pretty pretty good to me um, I like the way it looks it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it's lightweight it's a medium coverage foundation and it gives you I won't say an instant filter but um, it looks okay um, as far as the ranges of shades I believe it's like 12 shades that they have from ivory to mocha so you might can find your shade like I said this is not a this is this isn't a full coverage foundation it's up to sheer to medium foundation it didn't cover that acne scar that's above my lip I will be wearing this I will be testing this foundation out for you guys just to see how um, it wears on a girl like me that has oily combination skin so I'm gonna check back with you throughout the day and let you know how um, I feel about this here foundation all right you guys so I will see you in a few hours hey loves I'm back and the time now is 9 44 p.m. and I've worn this foundation for a bunch of hours I just wanted to come back and show you how the foundation uh, wore throughout the day uh, I noticed let me get my little mirror I noticed that the foundation is still in place my eyes are a little red I've been rubbing my eyes I've been so busy today ripping and running but I noticed that the foundation is still intact now and it met my expectations so far I am a little bit oily and I want to say around this area and a little bit in my brow but this is some good stuff for a drugstore foundation and it's holding up I did eat twice around my mouth um, it has worn off but to me it looks good I have some tissue and I want to blot So to me it still looks good um, I'll just make sure the next time that I apply this foundation I use some uh, setting powder in between my brows but other than that so like I stated before it comes in 14 shades from ivory the lightest to mocha being the darkest um, it does give you a flawless finish and as far as this blender is concerned I really didn't like the blender that was like a con they could have left it off because it serves no purpose uh, it does give your face a fresh natural finish and let's see I didn't have much transfer it does transfer so that's um, another con and will this be an all-day wear it probably will if you use a good primer it says that it has high definition filter so that it can blur out any imperfections and soften your flaws so uh, that's a good feature and basically I'm just gonna sum it up the price that I paid for this foundation I believe it was around nine bucks now I picked my foundation up at Walmart and it was for $13.97 I think it's a little bit more at the Ulta store so um, it's up to you but yeah like I said Walmart is a little bit cheaper and this foundation is worth every penny so I suggest you guys go out and get this one it's a keeper and with that being said I am out of here I thank you all for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video until then God bless.